Okay, so in this last video, we're going to learn how to find, write a line equation given a slope and a point. Um, so, what I want you for this one to do is try to write the line equation given this information. If you got stuck doing that, what you can do is you first should know what a line equation looks like, which is y equals mx plus b where m is our slope and b is our y-intercept. Now, in this, we've been given a slope. So I know my slope is 3 over 2. So I'm going to write y equals 3 over 2x plus b because that's the only information I know. But I also know that 2 is an x and 7 is a y. So down here, instead of writing x and y, I can write 7, because that's my y value, and 2, because that's my x value. Well, now we have this equation. And so with this equation, we can have 7 equals 3, because 2 times 3 is 6, and 6 divided by 2 is 3, plus b. Then to get b by itself, I would just subtract 3. And I would end up with b equaling 4. And that's really nice for us, because now we have our slope, which is 3 over 2. And now we have our y-intercept, which is 4. So my whole equation would be y equals 3 over 2x plus 4. And again, I would know that because I found the two pieces of information we were looking for, which is slope and y-intercept. Try the next problem. So for this one, if you get stuck, here's what you'd want to do. You'd want to make your line equation again, y equals mx plus b. We know our slope. Our slope is going to be 2 over 5. So all we have to find is our b value. We can do this by plugging in the points we know, because this is an x and this is a y. So that would be 2 equals, and then we'd have 2 fifths, and then instead of writing x down, I'd write 5, because that's our other point, plus b. Well, in this case, we do the same kind of multiplication. We get 2 equals 10 divided by 5 is 2, plus b. So then when I subtract 2, I'd have that b is equal to 0. So I could write for this one y equals 2 over 5x plus 0, which would be the same thing as y equals 2 over 5x, because 0 plus anything just leaves it the same. So that would be my final equation. Let's go to the next one. OK, so let's try this problem again. What I've been given is a slope and a point, so I know that this should be y equals 7 over 3x plus b, because again, we know what our slope is. Instead of writing x and y, though, I know this is my x and this is my y, so I could write negative 4 equals 7 over 3, 3 instead of x plus b. Again, you'd have negative 4 equals, well, 7 times 3 is 21. 21 divided by 3 is 7, plus b, and minus 7 on each side. And I'd get b is equal to negative 11. <clears throat> Again, I wouldn't want to write this as my final answer. My final answer would be y equals 7 over 3x minus 11. That would be it. Let's try another problem. Try this problem. If you got stuck, here's what you want to do. You want to write that y is equal to mx plus b. You again know what your slope is. Your slope is negative 3 over 2. So instead of writing m down, we're going to say y is equal negative 3 over 2, x plus b. Again, we know an x and a y value, where y is 4 and x is 5. 
So we'd have 5 equals negative 3 over 2 times 4 plus b. From here, <clears throat> you could say this is 5 equals, then we do 4 times negative 3, which would give us negative 12 over 2 plus b. Well, negative 12 over 2 is the same as negative 6. Since it's a negative 6, I'm going to add 6 to each sign. And I'm going to get that I have 11 equals b. Well, that's one part of it. The other part is my slope, which is negative 3 over 2. So my line equation is y equals negative 3 over 2 x plus 11. Let's try another one. So I have a slope and a y a and a point. So again, if I got stuck with this, I would write y equals mx plus b. I would find that my slope is y equals negative 5 over 3x plus b. Again, we know an x and a y value. Our x value is negative 3. Our y value is 7. So I'd have 7 equals negative 5 over 3 times negative 3 plus b. I'd get 7 equals, well, that'd be 15, div positive 15 divided by 3, which would be 5 plus b. I'd then subtract 5 from each side and get that b is equal to 2. Well, now I have a b value, and I have my slope, so my final answer would be negative 5 over 3 x plus 2. Let's try one last one. For this one, again, if you got stuck, it's the same kind of thing. I just say y equals mx plus b. I know that my slope is this because they gave it to me. So I would say that y is equal to negative 6 over 5x plus b. Again, we got to find our x and our y, so our x is the 10 and our y is 3. So we would then write those in. So 10 equals, whoops, did that backwards. My y is 3, and my x is 10. So at this point, we would get 3 equals negative 60 over 5 plus b which that'd be 3 equals negative 12 plus b. I'd add 12 to both sides, and I'd have b is equal to 15. Well, again, now I have my b value, and I have my slope. <clears throat> so my final answer would be y equals negative 6 over 5x plus 15. And that would be it. If after this last one you still don't know how to do these, please raise your hand and ask for help.